Well, Yom Kippur is upon us, and uh, we know it's maybe the holiest day of the year, maybe Shabbos is, maybe Yom Kippur is, but we know it's a very holy day, and the time that we connect with God in the strongest way possible. At the end of the Ila, the end of Yom Kippur, we say seven times, Hashem Hu Elohim. Hashem, He is the Elohim. Hashem is one of God's names. Elohim is another name of God. Hashem, that word, referred, that name of God refers to His way of dealing with us with mercy, with kindness. Elohim is the way He deals with us when He judges us and maybe punishes us. And here we are at the end of Yom Kippur. We went through Rosh Hashanah, the ten, the ten days of penitence, through Yom Kippur. We prayed, we fasted, we did tshuva. And now God writes us down in his book what's going to happen to us the rest of the year. Do we know? We don't know. But we say to God, we have full faith in you. Even though chas v'sholem, maybe the year won't be as good as we'd like it to be. There might be certain challenges that we're not so uh, ready to uh, take upon ourselves. But we have to, like, like it or not. But we know that you have our best in mind. Hashem Hulakim. The name of God, all merciful, that's the same God who decrees upon us judgment and difficulty sometimes. But we know that it's only from your kindness and your goodness, just like we have God telling us that we have to realize and know very carefully. He tells us in Sefer Devorim, Deuteronomy, that you should know in your intellect, in your mind, you should feel in your heart that just like a father, a parent punishes the child, it's only because for their benefit. He has no chas uh, v'shom, hate against the children for punishing them. On the contrary, he has love for them. So if God does have to decree upon us difficulties, we know it's for our good, for us to grow from it, for us to become better people, for us to realize what life is all about, to, to shake us up a little bit, to give us a, a shot in the arm, that we should think about what we're doing in this world, and it's for our benefit. So we say, Hashem hu lakim. The, 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 the God of judgment is the God of mercy and kindness. We have full trust in you, God. We know that for our benefit, whatever you, you decreed upon us on Yom Kippur, we're ready to accept and to do our best to grow from it. So let's hope that God will give us a very good decree uh, for the whole year, and uh, we hope that uh, 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 we'll be able to benefit from his kindness directly, but in case it's indirectly, we'll accept it, and we know it's for our benefit, and we'll grow from it. Everybody should have a wonderful, sweet, wonderful year, a year of accomplishments, a year of nachas, a year of growing in our closest to Hashem, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, having a wonderful relationship with God a whole year around. We won't forget him after Yom Kippur. We'll keep him in mind a whole year, and we'll have a wonderful, great friendship relationship with him. Have a good year, everybody, and have an easy fest.